In the previous section, we have seen that how the position property works. We are going to continue with position property in this section as well. To begin with, let's remove the top and right settings and keep only position as relative and check the output. Now as you can see that it is the very normal flow of all the elements. So we have the first division, second division and the third division. Now I am applying position is equal to absolute. Let's save and refresh and see what happens. Oops, what has happened? Why the first and second divisions are displayed on the very same position? Let's understand the flow of document and how elements are placed to understand this output or this behavior. Now when the absolute is applied on this particular element. That means something has happened on this element. Normally when you place the elements, each element knows that which is the prior element or the parent element and which is the child element or the next element. Now here there is an internal chaining among every element. The moment you apply, let's say, absolute position on this element, what it does is, it breaks this normal chain of elements and it comes out of the container. So, the second division thinks that there is no first division existing. So, it shifts here on this position and this third shifts here. Internally, this has happened that the first division has broken the chain, but it is still there on the page. So, second is also shifted here and that's the reason why they both appear on the same position. This also means when you give the position as absolute, it moves the element to the outer container. If let's say there was an outer container here, that is a parent container. And if there is a position given to this particular parent element, let's say relative, the moment you give absolute, it will come out of this container and it will check whether its parent container has any position attribute set or not. If not, it will move to even the outer container and it will check that this container has position set or not. If there is a position set, then this element will become part of this container. But let's say that it does not find any container like division or section. Then the parent container, the very parent container is the document. So this element that is division first becomes part of document which is happening here. If I give a container to these three divisions and if that container has a position relative, then this absolute division set will move to the parent container. But if the parent container does not have any position attribute set, then certainly it will not stay there, but it will go till the very ancestor and the top ancestor is always the HTML document the HTML that is and that's where the element is placed. Now let me give top and right because this division first is part of the HTML document. Now when I say right, just observe where does it go. Now let's save this and refresh. So here you see that because there was no container having position and the parent that is the ancestor is the HTML document. When you give the right to this division, it moves to the right of the entire page. So this is how the absolute position behaves.